A wartime poison became medicine. In 1942, a secret lab in Yale turned mustard gas into the first chemotherapy. During World War II, researchers worried about chemical warfare. Two pharmacologists at Yale, Lewis S. Goodman and Alfred Gilman were asked to study nitrogen mustards. They found the drugs destroyed lymph cells in animals. Tumors shrank. With a surgeon, Gustav E. Linskog, they treated a dying man with advanced lymphosarcoma. He is known only as J.D. on August 27, 1942. J.D. received the first intravenous doses of nitrogen mustard, called Substance X, in the records. Within days, his tumor softened. He could eat and sleep again. The response lasted weeks. The disease returned. J.D. died months later on December 1, 1942. But the experiment proved a single idea. Chemicals can selectively kill cancer cells. Wartime secrecy mattered. The work was done under government contracts and remained classified early on. After the war, scientists like Alexander Haddo and others refined the molecules. They turned toxic mustard cousins into safer drugs, the alkylating agents still used in chemotherapy today. A weapon of war left a bitter legacy and an ironic gift. From a toxic cloud came the first proof that drugs could fight cancer. History remembers the tragedy and the treatment it inspired.